Hi, and a warm welcome to this Slings in Motion practice. In this lesson, we will do a diverse blend of exercises that utilizes and enhances a broad spectrum of muscular and fascial qualities. Amongst the benefits are improved muscular length and strength, healthy tensile strength in fascia and expansiveness, fascial adaptability, elasticity, glide and hydration. And to make good things even better, we will, as always, also train our kinesthetic intelligence and therefore proprioceptive finesse and introceptive clarity, or in other words, our ability to coordinate movement in a well-timed manner and sense the quality of movement. What you need for the practice is, as always, a mat, and then if you like, a knee pad, and also two soft massage balls. For the unilateral exercises, I will mirror you, and while you can be facing the screen every now and then, I will turn around to give you a different perspective. Let's start the practice in a centered standing position with the legs about hip distance apart, the pelvis balanced, the spine elongated, and your head balancing on top of the spine. Raise your arms forward and upward with an arm arc. And then circle your arms down, and as you lower the arms, grow even taller. From here into a nodding motion, tilt your head forward and roll down slowly. The knees can be slightly bent or extended. As you are rolling down, lift from the pelvic floor and draw back from the lower abdominals. So you actively lift the pelvis to assist the opening in your lower back. At the lowest point, with your fingertips above the floor, your lower back is fully opened. Bend your knees, fold forward by relax relaxing the pelvic floor and abdominal muscles. Lift your sit bones up towards the ceiling, tune into your neck, keep your neck muscles soft and your head hanging. And then extend your knees as far as you feel comfortable and start to roll up slowly by engaging your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles. And then you let your superficial backline take over the myofascial meridian that connects your body from the feet all the way up to the head. It's lifting you up and it's holding you in an upright position. Lengthen the body, reach up from the crown of the head. Raise your arms forward and upward, arm arc. Open your arms, grow even taller, and one more time, slow roll down, actively lengthening and strengthening your spine extensor muscles, assisting the opening of the, for the assisted opening of the lower back, you engage your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles. When you're at your lowest point with your fingertips above the floor, you have a healthy tensioning in a broad multi-layered fascial sheath and it's your thoracolumbar fascia. Tensioning is a form of fascial strengthening. Bend your knees, relax pelvic floor and abdominals, fold forward, take the balls into your hands, hold them lightly, reach your sit bones up towards the ceiling and then extend the legs as far as you feel comfortable Re-engage pelvic floor and abdominals, start to roll up slowly. Let your arms hang in a very relaxed way as you're rolling up. And then let your superficial back line roll you up. Together with your deep front line, it supports an upright standing position. Deep front line is your body-wide myofascial core that lifts you up from within. Superficial back line from the outside. From here, raise your right arm up towards the ceiling and then long side bend towards the left side. Domino to the right side, lead with your arm, let the shoulder follow, let the spine follow. Side bend to the right, place the ball against the outside of the leg, bring your awareness to the left side of your body, press your left foot into the floor 
and lift your left rib cage up towards the ceiling. Lift up from the pubic bone to lengthen your lower back. And now with your next inhalation, roll the ball against your leg down a centimeter or two. Exhalation, roll it up. As you inhale and you roll down, grow taller. And then with your exhalation, roll up. Keep going. So we're going into two directions. You are rolling down slightly. And at the same time, at least by sense, you are growing taller by expanding and lifting the left side of the rib cage and therefore the spine slightly, actively lengthening and strengthening the muscles on your left side and then also tensioning the fascia. Lower your left arm, domino, soften in your left side, fluidity now where we have been lengthening, Place the ball against the outside of the leg. Press your right foot into the floor. Lift the right rib cage up towards the ceiling. Lift the pubic bone a little bit more to elongate your lower back. And then with your next inhalation, once again, you are rolling the ball down a centimeter. You roll it up. Let the rib cage on the top side fan open and lift as you are rolling the ball down. The lateral line is a myofascial meridian on the side of the body. It connects the side from the foot up the side of the leg, the side of your upper body to the head. And you are right now actively lengthen and strengthen this myofascial meridian. Let's do this one more time. It's deeply connected to your myofascial core. So expansiveness, that's the myofascial core in your ribs. Domino. <laughs> let the arm lower, let the shoulder follow, let the spine follow, soften in your right side, fluidity, and then you lower the left arm, you center the body, you raise both arms forward and upward with an arm arc, arms out to the side, grow as tall as possible, roll down slowly, nodding motion, and then a slow roll down, extra lift through the pelvis from the front so there is an extra opening in your lower back and we are using the roll down movement here to create a sense of balance between the right and the left side of your body at your lowest point bend your knees relax through the center fold forward place the balls aside place your hands onto the floor Lift your sit bones up towards the ceiling, extend the legs as much as you like, bend the knees, and then with your right leg, step back into a low lunge. From the low lunge position, roll over the back foot, place your knee onto the floor, and you are in a 90-90 kneeling position, folded forward. From here, you shift further forward and then you shift back. And we do it as a slow movement, shifting forward, keep your heel on the floor. When you shift back, keep your toes on the floor. You dorsiflex or you flex the ankle, you plantar flex or point as you go back. We are mobilizing the foot, the ankle, the knee, and, of course, on the other side also, the hip joint. Let's do this one more time, shifting forward and one more time, shifting back. Not only mobilization is improved, also fascial glide, especially across the front of the ankle. And then from here, you can curl up, keep your upper body centered, fully elongated, you can place one hand to the front of the knee, the other hand to the front of the hip, and then let the weight transition forward and you go into a dynamic shift. You let the ankle, the knee move, and it's just a, a transfer of body weight to go into this elastic movement. By sense, we let the joints fold. There is an opening or like a, yeah, no opening is a good word, for the arches of the front foot 
and then also the flex, the dorsiflexion, the knee flexion. So the associated fascia elastically tensions and recoils from the underside of the foot across the ankle and also the front of the knee. Let's do this one more time. Stay in an upright position, let your arms relax and then raise your arms forward and upward with an arc transition. Shift halfway back, forward fold, arms to shoulder level. Place your right hand onto the floor in line with the right knee and shift your pelvis over the knee. Long side stretch position. Press your right hand onto the floor. Open the top of your ribcage further and then reach your left hand down towards the floor. Feel the back of the left ribcage spiral open and by sense the spine follows the ribcage. Take your left arm overhead, side stretch, and then spiraling up, revolve the sternum up towards the ceiling, palm faces the ceiling. Take your arm overhead and you're spiraling your shoulder around the ribcage, the spine, and then spiraling up again slowly. Multidimensional mobilization of the ribcage and the spine combined with fascial glide from the outside in, literally from the skin and superficial fascia to deep fascia and then also glide within between the muscles in the upper body, especially around the ribcage. And now here you can place your left hand onto the floor by sense, you still have a lift in your pelvis, length in your lower back in this spiraling position. Shift halfway back and then shift forward as far as you feel comfortable. You shift back, extend your front knee more and then you let the front knee bend. You shift forward, shift back slowly, shift forward slowly. Now, as you shift back, Feel the length from your armpit all the way down your back to the hip. You keep your left hand glued to the floor to give yourself that extra length. Let's do this one more time. Shift back. So absolutely beautiful exercise for active lengthening in your back in a very unusual way, which is always good for the fascial system. And then take your hands forward and just once, walk your hands over to the left, a small side bend to the left, and then both hands to the front again here, actually a little bit forward of the foot, curl the toes of your back foot under, extend the back knee, semi-extend the front leg, dynamic knee bend with the front leg, and then buoyantly step forward, legs in parallel, you fold forward and for a moment pause here and sense the right and the left side of your body and if you feel a difference in the two sides of your body. Reach your sit bones up towards the ceiling if you like, extend your legs and then start to roll up slowly and notice how this rolling up motion feels. You have done a unilateral movement. If it created changes in your body, how do they feel? Fully upright, even your upright position. What is the sense in terms of length in your body? Right, left. Shoulders, how do they feel? When you start moving, how is that feeling in your body? Lower your arms, slow roll down. If you're used to these kinds of exercises, notice the subtleties. The segmental movement of the spine, one vertebra moving at the time. How does that feel right, left? The opening in your lower back, how you perceive it. Even the strength in your abdominals, is there a different perceptible? You can now bend the knees, release, fold forward, extend the legs as far as comfortable, 
bend your knee, step back with your left leg, a low lunge, and then roll over the toes and position yourself again in a folded 90-90 kneeling position. Shift back and shift forward. We are going into a slow shift again to mobilize the joints to promote glide, especially across the front of the ankle and also in preparation for the shift when we are doing the movement more dynamically. Find a centered alignment and then roll up into an upright 90-90 kneeling position. Once again, if you like, one hand goes to the front of the hip, the other hand on top of the knee. Keep the elongation in your upper body, dynamic stabilization in the pelvis, and then <laughs> let the body fall forward. It's a controlled fall in which the joints fold, the fascia elastically lengthens, and recoils and the fascial structures we are focusing on are the plantar fascia, the Achilles tendon and then also quadriceps fascia. Let's do this a couple more times in a rhythm that makes you feel springy. Fascial elasticity requires rhythmicality and all of us have a different fascial rhythm. Let's do this one more time and then stay lifted. Take your arms down and overhead. Transition again into the side stretch position. Shift back, hand to the floor, left hand in line with the left knee. Shift the pelvis back, side stretch. With your left hand, you are pushing against the floor. With your left arm, you are reaching overhead, keeping the neck long. And now with your top hand, with your right hand, reach down towards the floor, spiraling from the back of the ribcage to the spine, while the pelvis by sense rotates into the opposite direction towards your right. And then you spiral upward, revolving the sternum up towards the ceiling, opening the front of the left shoulder and the right shoulder, front arm lines, and then spiral down, actively lengthen the back arm lines. And then, of course, also the body-wide myofascial meridians are lengthened in the upper portion. Superficial front line here, a little bit the spiral line, and then down superficial back line. However, our focus is on the lateral line, especially the ribcage portion. And now you can place your hand, your right hand, onto the floor, glue it to the floor, extend your front knee more, shift back, and then shift forward. You shift back. And forward. So it's a twisted shift. And <laughs> ideally, there is a deep sense of opening in your lower back or on your lower back as well. So it's actually going from the outside in, from outer muscles like the latissimus dorsi into the back muscles, into deep back muscles like the quadratus lumborum. And then you can shift forward, walk your hands forward. Just once, walk to the opposite side. And then hands to the front, a little bit forward of the foot. Always helpful, curl the toes of your back foot under. So you are in low lunge again. Semi-extend the front knee, dynamically bend and extend the front leg. And then step forward, hips <laughs> not hips, feet hip distance and parallel, fold forwards, bend your knees. Just for a moment, let your upper body be relaxed. Let gravity do its magic, traction your upper body and then extend your legs as far as you feel comfortable and initiate your rolling up motion by lifting the pelvis and letting the superficial back line supported by your myofascial core 
the body wide one, your deep front line, lift you up and hold you in an upright position. Find your balanced alignment, take your arms overhead and then one more time circle down. Let's finish with a dynamic exercise. Take your arms overhead, sense an opening to the front of the body from the hips up. You lift the sternum, however, there is a sense of lift through your pubic bone at the same time, V arms. And then you bend the knees and you swing back, arms overhead. There is no rush, there is no hurry. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale as you swing back, a dynamic knee bend combined with a long spine flexion in which the arms swing, then you open the front of the hips, you open the front of the body with your spine fully elongated. Back of the head stays long to the last one. And then center your upper body, lower your arms, and I hope you feel absolutely fantastic.